the best thing that you can do from what you've said, Pete, is to try and get rid of that pressure. So you are ready for that moment in front of the camera, ready for that moment to audition. And and what happens also, because you've got all this other stuff taken care of, then you can truly focus on the acting mm. and taking your work to another level. All that stuff's there. It's second nature. Do you know what I'm saying? All right? Yes. And that's and all it's, streamlined, right? And and it's not just a situation where you uh, you feel like you're cramming the night before. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you still feel that, Dennis, when, you, when you're sometimes going for auditions? Do you feel like you're cramming at all? Or do, you, do you feel like you're just going through the process and this is another audition? From, from time to time, um, it, it's, I don't think it's ever the same. Sometimes It's bad when you feel like you're cramming. Often that's for corporate videos because they tend to be very, very overwritten and wordy. Um, and you get them very late. I've had pages and pages of dense dialogue that I've gotten the, the afternoon or night before shooting. Um, that's cramming. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that's a great segue into, I, I see, I don't think we've really touched on the cra- how to be ready in the craft and this is right. a good way that's- into it. Um, but it's always different and it's always bad to feel like you're cramming, but uh, you know, it's a reality. Sometimes, sometimes you are I, I, ideally, even if you do feel like that, you cram before and then you kind of let go of it as much as you can once you get in the room. 